so hello everyone and welcome to another video um, today I am going to talk about the learning theories that exist in uh, language learning um, of course I am speaking here about behaviorism cognitivism constructivism so I am going to talk about uh, like about them uh, briefly and uh, in the next videos inshallah i will like uh, uh, go a bit deeper uh, in each uh, theory or each school and of course i will include uh, like the the the, the language acquis uh, like acquisition and learning uh, processes when it comes to uh, these uh, schools so the first one of course is going to be behaviorism um, so as we know, behaviorism stems from uh, the work of uh, Skinner and the, the, with his concept of operant conditioning. Um, uh, behaviorism theorists believe that knowledge uh, exists independently and outside of people in their environment. Um, uh, they view the learner as a, a blank state who must be like provided with the experience that he will take from his environment. Um, behaviorists also believe that learning actually occurs when new behaviors or changes in behaviors are acquired through associations between the stimuli and the responses. Thus, association leads to a change in behavior. So, like, this is the basic concept for behaviorism. It's stimulus response, okay? But uh, when it comes to the learning process, um, the learning process is based on objectively, like, observable changes in behaviors. Um, the, 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 the behaviorism theorists like would define learning simply as the acquisition of a new behavior or a change in behavior okay um, the theory is that learning begins when a, a stimulus from the environment as i said before is presented and the learner would react to the stimulus with some type of response um, consequences that reinforce the desired behavior are arranged to follow the desired behavior. For example, you study for a test and get a good, a good mark or a good grade. Um, the new behavioral pattern can be repeated so it becomes automatic. So the process of automaticity is something that, is, uh, that characterizes the, the, the behaviorist school. Um, also, the change in behavior uh, of, of the learner signifies that learning has occurred. This is how we know that learning has took place. It's when we see a change in behavior or like uh, the acquisition of a new behavior. Um, in classrooms, teachers would uh, use behaviorism when they reward or punish students' behaviors. Um, I will uh, like tackle the, 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 the behaviorism when it comes to second language acquisition in uh, like uh, and in language acquisition in general uh, in other videos inshallah. The next uh, theory that I'm going to talk about is uh, or a movement is cognitivism. So cognitive information processing uh, is based on the thought process behind the behavior okay what happens behind the behavior the theory is based on the idea that humans would process information they would receive okay rather than merely responding to a stimuli like we have seen in the behaviorist or the behaviorism uh, movement okay so uh, they would process the, the information uh, that they, they receive from their environment. The changes in behavior are observed, but 
only as an indicator to what is going on in the learner's head. So this is the difference between behaviorism and cognitivism. Here we use the behaviors just like as an indicator to what like what is going on in the learner's head. Okay? So it, like they are secondary. But the priority is given to what is happening in the mind of the learner. Those cognitive processes is what matters for the, the cognitivists. Um, the, the, the learner's mind is seen as a mirror from which new knowledge and skills like will be uh, reflected. Also, I would state that cognitive information processing is used when the learner plays an active role in seeking ways to understand and process information that he or she receives and he would like related to what is already known and stored within memory. Um, these cognitive learning theories are credited to the well-known uh, Jean Piaget. When it comes to the learning process, uh, cognitive learning theorists like would believe that learning occurs through uh, like internal processing of information. So we are interested in like what it, what, what's like what is happening to the information that is uh, re like uh, received by uh, the learner. Unlike behaviorism, cognitive information processing is governed by internal processes rather than external circumstances as we have seen in behaviorism. Okay, so the cognitive approach to learning theory pays more attention to what goes on inside the learner's head and focuses on the mental processes rather than observable behaviors. And again, the changes in behaviors are observed, are observed, sorry, yes, but they are just used as indicators as to what is happening inside the learner's uh, mind. So, uh, the learning process for the, 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 the cognitivist is about the reorganization of experience or the reconstruction of knowledge. Um, and it is like by attaining new insights or changing old ones. Thus, the learning is a change in knowledge which is stored in memory and not just a change in behavior as we have seen earlier with uh, behaviorism. The last uh, theory or uh, movement that I want to talk about is constructivism. Um, constructivism is based on the premise that we all, all construct our, knowledge, like our own perspective of the world um, based on individual experiences um, this movement uh, like is characterized by uh, like aspects of individuality and internal knowledge. Um, learning is based on how the individual interprets and creates meaning of his or her experiences. That's why uh, it is like entitled constructivism because you construct meaning based on your experiences. Okay. Um, the knowledge is like constructed by the learner and since everyone has a different set of experiences and perceptions, uh, this like entails that learning is unique and different for each person because again it depends on your own experiences and your own perceptions on how you see the world. So therefore, learning is going to be unique and different from a person to another. For the learning process, constructivist theorists um, believe that learning is a process where individuals construct new ideas or concepts based on prior knowledge or experience. Okay, each of us like generates uh, like uh, our own mental models or what we call the schemas, the schematas, um, which we use to make sense of 
our experiences, um, like we resolve conflicts between ideas and we would also reflect on theoretical explanations. Therefore, learning is simply the process of uh, like adjusting our mental models to accommodate our new uh, experiences. And the word accommodate is like uh, the, the, like the basic uh, the basic uh, like um, the, the the main process uh, within uh, uh, constructivism. It's all about accommodation. We adjust the, the our, our our schematas to to fit our new experiences. This is how we construct our or reconstruct our knowledge. Um, this theory like is used to focus on preparing people to problem solve um like therefore to be successful the learner needs a significant base of knowledge upon which to interpret and create ideas um like in addition with constructivism outcomes are not always predictable because learners are constructing their own knowledge um, thus it does not work when the results always need to be consistent uh, like which means that you cannot predict results because everyone has his own way like of reconstructing knowledge depends on his schematas the schematas that he has or she has therefore like the the, the results are not going to be always consistent. You cannot um, predict them. So this or these are the main uh, learning theories within uh, within like um, language. Um, in the next videos, inshallah, as I said it before, I will go deeper and I will talk about the, the these theories and their implication when it comes to second language acquisition and second language learning um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe share with your friends See you in